Hey everybody, I hope you're all having a good day. The next Legendary Epic Hero Remix is Banners are nine live, so let's go for the main two units that got their uh, ability upgrades, and then we'll quickly go for, for the other features. So let's see, we have Legendary Mail, buy it with the fresh no text, it's just missing back. A sound special trigger, couldn't come on. If he initiates combat, or two speeds an ally, attack speed defense plus five to him during combat, and also if he outspeeds the foe, during combat, no choice effects that guarantees the foe's well attack and prevents his. And then allies and two gets if they outspeed the foe during comp uh no choice effect guarantees the foe's well attack and friends stars. Sublime Heaven 2 at start turn, if Kun Kai's a maximum value, Kun Kai minus one to him, and also one charge makes a weapon. Then boost signs by 30% of his attack. And then if combat against a dragon or beast foe, it's 16 instead of 30. And then my special neutralizes reduce signs by X percent from non-special skills. Attack defense ideal four. At the start of combat, if HP is 100% or if wounds is active on him, attack defense plus 7 to during combat. If both can mat, you get an additional plus 2 for a net bonus of 9. And bonuses are just any buffs that would last for the turn. Uh, low attack speed free. Sorry, attack rest free. Attack res mass free on the foe and neutral foe's wound to those two, two stats from skills like 45 allies, etc. during combat. Attack speed 04. At the start of turn, if he's been two speeds of an ally, Attack to plus 6, and the following status to him for one turn. He came with two speeds, and chooses to any allies within two spaces. And then if he is within two spaces of an ally, attack speed plus 3 during combat. Okay. And then we have Sigurd. Good with the Holy Terraving. Holosar Hollow to Terraving. A Salus Predator, Queen Grandson, at Star Combat. If he's if two speeds, 100% or above. Grants attack speed, fan trust plus 5 to him during combat. And also, if he, he's, he makes guaranteed follow attack. Also, if he needs to come or full to the foe's first attack is reduced by 40%. Holy Knight 2, one charge, thanks the weapon. At the start turn, he can move one extra space. That's when he's on stack. And if he needs to come up, reduce the foe's first attack by 40%. To him for one turn. First time, special damage for 30% of his attack. So, yeah, the way it works, it will do one of the damage structures, then the other one. Then, after combat, if it's special triggers, Grants attack defense plus 6, uh, that move unit can move an extra space, that is an attack. And if that unit is in his combat, reduce that foe's first attack by 40%. This grants to him all allies for one turn, even if his HP reaches 0. So essentially, this effect just granted that all allies except and with additional attack defense plus 6. Attack defense catch 4, similar to the ideal with all bylift, except it's on the foe, so it's a, if there's a base 100% over penalties active on them. So it's attack defense plus 7, and both met additional plus 3 for that bonus. Nine. Set defense four. This is his new skill, which I forget what his original one was. Defense minus four on the foe during combat, and if no effect neutralizes penalties on the foe's defense, no effects penalties on foe's defense during combat equal to seven minus the current penalties on foe's defense. Minimum is zero. And if penalties active on the foe's defense, effects current card minus one on the foe per attack. Only has spice and stack, and then effects defense minus seven on the foe for the next action after combat. And then fails McCree. Foe can recover HP during or after combat. And then inflicts deep wound to target foes and two of a target after combat. Defense is basically the same effect. I think it's the skill name, right? Ideal, right? Yeah. There's the same other opposite. Anyway, let's go for the side units now. So here is Legendary Erga. All Legendary Mephi heroes in this banner are going to have their weapon refinements and abilities upgraded already. So here's your weapon on a base form. Here's Moonbow. Attack speed so forth. This is, I believe, the new skills he got on. Here's Lunar Burst 2. This is the upgraded version of the original one. And then all defense speed 3. Then we have Flash over Yuma. Uh, the Raichento. Obviously, it's refined. Glimmer. Kestel Stance 2. Bushido 2. And I believe his new one was Attack Speed Rain 3. It's been a while, so. We have Legendary Krom with the right Ron Girl. Obviously, this is the best weapon. To change Fate 2. Obviously, the upgraded version. Uh, close Combat. Low Attack Defense 3. And I believe his new one was the Blue Fuse 3. Okay. Anyway, Legendary Lucina. The weapon, Future Fishing 2, 
Spits Power Free, which I believe was the upgraded version for her. Wings of Mercy Free. And Distant Guard Free. Then we have Attuned Peony. Nah, she was given for free a while back, so if you missed a chance then, well, here's another chance to grab her. Flower of Caring. Then Tender Dream. Attack Defense Unity. Rock Slide Dance. Crossbar Speed. And the Attuned Skill Attack of Echo. Then we have Miller, Nurturing Breath. Obviously, that's the weakened version. Uh, Rally Defense for S. Plus. Racing Stance Free. I know this one is Dragon Wall Free, so I know why I know this one. I forget which I had originally. Amelia's um, Terminal 2. Which sadly this one's way better because the other one was mostly just for Avery Aids, but this one's not. Then we have Bronymon, Void Tomb. Luna. Attack defense push four. I believe it was tempo. That was it. And impenetrable void. And that's all for Vitus Banner. For Sigurd, we have a Toon Pion Triandra. Flower of Tribute. Halloween Dream. Attack Speed Clash 4. Flow Refresh. Speed, Defense, Hold, Free. And the Echo Skull here is Death Blow. Ur. Here's the weapon. Here's Deadeye. I believe her one was Life and Death 4, so here's Life and Death 4. Uh, you're gonna ascend it, ascend it. And then Time Pulse Free. Then we have Nagi. Well, Naga, sorry. Uh, Define Breath. I was here as we can see it. Luna. Attack. Uh, sorry, every raid's attack speed free. Then the upgrade skill here is Define this Dive Bomb free. Verno. And Define Fine Plus. Then we have Hell. Hell's Reaper. I was thinking we were fine. Luna. This one is this in pressure, by the way. And it just upgraded what you had prior. Guard burying. And then inevitable death plus. So what's this in pressure? No, actually it might be not be. I don't know. Can't remember anymore. Then we have a Tundino, Glondolf. Draconic Aura. Flash Sparrow. Speed Defense Tempo 4. And Fang Tides, which is obviously unique. And this one is Fleeting Echo. Then we have Legendary Makaya with New Dawn. Meaning Solence. Fury 4. Prescience. I believe it was Joint Distant Guard. It's obviously this is here. And finally, we have Corn, Primordial Breath, Negative Fang 2, This Encounter, Guard 4, and I believe her one was Joint Drive Attack. Here. The wire decided one disconnect. And that's the banner. Best of luck on your thumbs on the last. I have two units I need to go. I'm looking for, but we'll see if we can get them. Shame this is this is not the colors I needed. I needed yellow. Green specifically. Uh, then who do I choose? We can choose who. What's the other skill? Ah, let's go for blue. Oh, we made a copy of Close Counter and stuff, but we'll say. And we get Robin. Okay. How long has I've seen the Robin being summoned? And then this one, there is a color I specifically need. Wow! Funny enough, it was the opposite way around I wanted it. I would need to buy it if I wanted Uller, but apparently I chose on the opposite way around. Anyway, I have all the units here regardless outside of uh, Uller, so I think a copy of Needle would be nice. 
All right. Let's see what we get here. Okay. I jump. Yeah. And that'll be it. Best of your summons. I'll see you next time. Bye.